Hi guys, it's Kirby. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing some at-home eyebrow lamination. <laughs> I got this kit off of Amazon for $20. It was actually $25, but the Amazon had like, if you click this box, you get $5 off coupon type thing. So it ended up being $19, not including tax. It did have free shipping. Um, brow lamination is something that I've been wanting to do for a while because as you, if you've been here for a moment, you know that I like to use the e.l.f. brow lift or the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow freeze and I like that my eyebrows like go up for my makeup um, and I like that look like all the time. <laughs> so salons do offer eyebrow lamination or like freelance eyebrow people offer brow lamination you can also try it at home which is what we're going to do today so this is the outside of the box and then this is what you get in your kit you get some like y combs plastic film some tools like spoolies and um micro brushes cleanser new uh, eyebrow nutrition eyebrow lift glue, perm solution, and then the fixation lotion. If you're unfamiliar with what eyebrow lamination is, it is basically you're perming your eyebrows. That's it. I think I'm going to kind of like tell you the steps as I'm doing them or the directions as I'm doing them, or at least to the best of my ability, uh, because they give you a good little guide on how to use. So we're just going to do that. It says, step one, using number five cleanser solution, remove all the oil and makeup residue from your eyebrows. I should note, I have previously cleaned my face or washed my face and washed my eyebrows, like taken an alcohol wipe through them, so <clears throat> prior to this video, so I know that they are nice and clean. Step two, apply Vaseline around and under the eyebrow. It forms a coating to protect the skin from the lift. This kit does not include Vaseline cream. Step three, apply the eyebrow lift glue on the eyebrows. Wait for 30 seconds, then comb it in one direction with a Y-shaped brush. Okay, so I will go over this at the end of the video as well, but I highly suggest skipping this step. Um, I will even cut this short and only show you like one eyebrow. Why I would skip this step is after doing a little bit more research on eyebrow lamination, you don't actually need glue to put your eyebrows in place because the perm solution will essentially break down your hair and it will be able to be pushed in whatever direction you need before you put the fixation lotion on. Now, whenever I use this eyebrow um, glue, one, it set incredibly quickly so you don't need to wait 30 seconds. Two, as you are brushing this glue through, as you can see right now, that Y comb actually like plucked out the hairs and I think that was because the glue was gripping onto the plastic and then I was actually like pulling eyebrows out so you couldn't even brush through the eyebrows to get them to where they needed to be once the glue was in there and then also third the glue was so thick that I think that it actually inhibited the perm solution from being able to get to the base of the brow and actually break down the brow hairs to, you know, allow the perm to work. I didn't actually use the glue as much on the other brow, and I think that it turned out so much better. So if anybody is watching this, I would skip this step. It says... Step four, apply the eyebrow lift perm on the eyebrow with microscope brush, then cover eyes with plastic wrap, waiting 10 to 12 minutes. 
Here is also another instance where I think I could have been a little bit more aggressive with my application of the perm solution because my eyebrows are so thick and um, coarse and there's just a lot of them. Uh, it's sometimes really hard to just kind of like apply a small little coating on top because then it's not actually getting to the eyebrows underneath because that's how like my eyebrows lay on top of each other. I did use a spoolie to really try and like comb things through, but I almost wish I would have went back and forth with the doe foot um, to really make sure that like the underbrush of my eyebrow, like the underbrow, uh, would have gotten a lot more perm solution on it. And I also think that this was just a fault of having the glue on my eyebrows as well. I couldn't really get underneath. Another thing is the saran wrap or plastic wrap that is given in the kit is in like a spool. It's like in a very thin line, kind of like tape almost, except it's saran wrap. If I had to, Okay, after the 10 to 12 minutes, step five is remove the eyebrow perm lift and apply the eyebrow fixation, then cover eyes with plastic wrap waiting 10 to 12 minutes. <clears throat> Here's another instance where I wish I would have done a little bit more research before I just dived right in. <laughs> um, when you put the fixation lotion on, make sure your eyebrows are in the place you want them. Once you put that fixation lotion on, you are permanently fixing your brows where they are going to be. Um, I do put a spoolie through them and like I'm not disappointed with, again, the positioning that I have. And I did kind of know that going into it because I have a basic knowledge of perms. Um, but like... If any hair is out of place, this fixation lotion is, like, going to fix it there. So make sure that your brows are exactly where you want them. And again, make sure that they are fully coated um, because once that fixation lotion on and this starts to process, like, this is what kind of, like, freezes the perm in place, if that makes sense. So make sure you are doing your due diligence and really taking time to make sure your brows are where they need to be. Okay, <clears throat> step six, remove the eyebrow fixation with a micro brush and then utilize dampened cotton with cold water to clean up all residue. For editing purposes and time sake, I'm just going to show you one side, but I did this on both sides. The process is identical, just taking the micro brush through your eyebrow, making sure that all of the cream and the large chunks of fixation are off, and then taking a damp cotton sponge and wiping it off. Again, 
Same process, both sides, but just for time's sake, I'm just going to show you the one side. Step seven, use cleaner to clear all perm residue. Here's another step that I don't know is necessary, this perm cleaner. I looked at the ingredients and it's mostly water. <laughs> um, so I'm not entirely sure if this is absolutely necessary. Also, the applicator being like this little lash sponge is very, I don't know if this is actually an effective cleaner. If this step is 100% necessary in the future, I'd like to try and find a maybe like gentle cl like cleansing cleaner or like a micellar water or something uh, because this little like lash brush cleaner is just not it. <laughs> I did not really feel like it did anything. Um, it just kind of like coated my eyebrows with like a little bit of like their water mixture for cleaner and you know didn't really get any more of the solution or anything off. Um, so if somebody could tell me in the comment section who might use a different kit or who does this like in a salon or something, uh, is this step necessary? And if it is, is there a better cleaner out there? <laughs> step eight, use eyebrow nutrition to nourish your eyebrows. Again, another pointless step to me and I'm only showing one eyebrow, I think. Uh, I don't understand the nutrition in my opinion. Step nine, wipe all lotion with micro brush gently and use dampened cloth with cold water to remove any residue. Mop the extra water near the eyebrow area with a piece of tissue. Okay, so here they are afterwards. <laughs> um, <clears throat> they are a little bit like tacky, moist, um, they are kind of like sticking to my skin, so I'll be interested to see what they look like when they are like completely 100% dry, but as of right now, I really, really like it. These ones are kind of sticking like straight up, and I guess I could like smooth them down a little bit. Um, same with this side. I really like the result. I think it gives me like a fuller brow. I think this is how I like my brows to look whenever I have makeup on and I love that. I hope that it's going to stay like this when I don't have makeup on. They're just going to be like up instead of sideways or down. Um, so today is Friday, February 24th. It's 1047. It says do not get eyebrows wet for 24 hours. Do not apply mascara for 24 hours. Just go about days as normal for 24 hours. So what I'm going to do is come back uh, tomorrow around like 11 in the morning to see kind of how they look still and then maybe check in in a couple days after I've like washed my face and they've had a moment to see kind of how they look still but initially right off the bat I really really do like how they look and if they stay this way or if they stay close to this way then I will be very satisfied with the $20 that I spent on this at home kit. Um, it says that the results should last up to six weeks so every six to eight weeks you're probably going to have to laminate them again. Um, for $20 very, very impressed. I will be linking this down below so you can check it out on your own time. Um, I will be back in 24 hours and then back in a couple days to check in on the brow lamination situation. All right, guys, so we are doing a phone check-in because I'm dealing with a little bit of a migraine today. <clears throat> so it is way past 11 a.m. It's like 4.30 the next day. Um, and the eyebrows are still up on this side. There are a couple brows that like did not take to it, I guess you could say. And I think that was because I used the glue. If I had to redo this, which I will in about six weeks, I wouldn't use the glue. Some of like my first impressions are, I don't really understand why we needed the glue. And then also... Um, I would bring my own saran wrap to use, like, 
big chunks of saran wrap instead of like those little strips. Um, but yeah, the like over 24 hours after and my brows are still lifted. I love how this one looks. And this one was like the test brow since I did it first. And it does look a little wonky, but it also looks a little wonky because I need to grow a lot more eyebrows on that side. So I'm hoping that like them being lifted will allow me to kind of see it's like natural shape and allow me to like let those eyebrows grow in the way they need to. So we'll see. Um, I will check back in in a few days after I like shower and wash them a few times and like wear makeup on them and stuff to kind of again follow up in a couple days to see like where they're actually at. But 24 hours after and they are still standing up and they look really, really nice and I'm happy with the results. So we're doing good so far. <laughs> All right, guys, so here is the final weigh-in of the at-home brow lamination. I obviously have a full face of makeup on today. I have trimmed, shaped, washed, showered, combed through, done all the things to my eyebrows. It's probably been about a week and a half, two weeks since that migraine check-in like the very next day. Um, I really wanted to give some time for me to be able to kind of like live with them and make sure that like I really washed them well and had them in multiple scenarios of like makeup wearing and things like that. Here's things that I will say <laughs> about doing this at-home brow lamination. This was my first time, and I think I did a decent job at doing it for my first time. I don't think that my brows look 100% amazing because I think it's a learning process. Um, I think I love how my brows look. I love that I laminated them. Are there some things going forward doing this again that I now know for the future? 100%. <laughs> Firstly is do not use do not use the lift glue. Don't use that for eyebrows. You don't really need it because for eyebrows unlike an actual hair perm or like lash lift you're not you're just kind of like combing them up and out. The eyebrow like perm lotion should break down the hairs so that you can comb them through whatever direction you need. Uh, don't use the, gl the glue. I think that was a fatal mistake in especially this eyebrow. I put so much glue on then whenever I was trying to use this little Y comb it was actually pulling eyebrows out and I couldn't get it through. Then I think there was so much glue on the eyebrow that the perm solution couldn't actually get to like where it needed to go. Also, when you are using like the perm solution and stuff, if you have thick foresty eyebrows like myself, make sure that this perm solution is getting like to every brow hair. Like make sure you're going back and forth and then smooth them out before you put that saran wrap on. I think for me personally, a lot of the hairs um, did not get as coated with the perm solution and the fixation solution that it should. With that being said, with all my like little mess ups and things like that, I think that they came out really, really well. I do have a little bit of brow product in my eyebrows today. Let me get that for you. The brow products that I have in my hair today, my hair, my eyebrows today are the NYX Lift and Snatch Eyebrow Pen. And I just have this in some of the more sparse areas along the bottom. So only like a few strokes on either brow. And then uh, the NYX Thick It Stick It Thickening Brow Mascara. I just did a couple swipes to keep them kind of up <laughs> um, because I have noticed that since I might not have done like the best job in combing the direction that the brows need to be they sometimes do have a tendency to have a mind of their own but if you go in with a brow wax the brow lift from elf like a thicker stick it like a brow mascara they will stay where they need to be sometimes without this though and especially since my brows are like 
there's a lot there. Um, this just kind of helps them to like be where they need to be. Um, but yeah, definitely for $20, I am very impressed with the results. I think that it did a very good job. I will continue to do this. I also think that even with my eyebrows needing to grow out and like needing to be a little bit more manicured, this gave them a much more defined shape and it allows me now better to see where I need to let brows grow in as well as like what brows need to go. So I do think that overall it's been a really good um, way to help me map out and navigate like where I actually want my natural brow shape to be as well. So 20 bucks, it worked really really well. Just don't use the glue. I think the thing is, is that like this company or companies in general use the same products or kits for both like eyebrow uh, lamination and lash lifts. They just change some of the tools. So I think that's kind of where some of like the confusion is. But uh, yeah, 20 bucks. I will link this down in the description box below definitely was a wonderful purchase. I will continue to do it in the future and I'm really happy with how my brows turned out um, <laughs> even if it wasn't like perfection the first time around. It will definitely get there the next two or three times once I kind of figure out and learn how to do brow lamination a little bit better. Um, so yeah, very happy with the results. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a big old thumbs up. As always, please be sure to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. I would hate for you to miss out on any more videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys.